Additive manufacturing has a lot of variables. There's the material and the machine, as well as the process, the parameters that are actually happening inside the machine. But for successful 3D printing at production scales, you also need to take into account the environment in which you're 3D printing. I'm Stephanie Hendrickson with Additive Manufacturing Media, and I recently had a chance to visit Uptive Manufacturing and learn more about how this company controls the environment, the climate conditions around their multi-jet fusion process for repeatable results. Uptive is a contract manufacturer offering a range of different processes at facilities around the U.S. They do precision CNC machining, they do injection molding, and they do additive manufacturing based out of their facility in Libertyville, Illinois. So customers come to Uptive with all kinds of different needs. They work with sales engineers to figure out the right process and technology, and the parts that are gonna be made through 3D printing are made in this facility. So here in this building, they have a fleet of three Stratasys Fortis 3D printers, 17 Mark Forged printers, and most of the production takes place on their 13 HP Multi-Jet Fusion printers. And it's this room where the MJF printers live that is most interesting from an environmental control standpoint. So here are some of the tools and safeguards that they have in place in this facility. Number one is temperature control. So this room is kept between 70 and 74 degrees Fahrenheit year round. That is to prevent any thermal fluctuations in either the machines or the material. Ideally, you want both of them to be at the same ambient conditions for the best printing results. Number two is humidity control. So humidity tends to affect the material more so than the machine, but they both have an ideal operating range. At Uptive, this room is kept between 30 and 70% humidity. Now, Illinois, it is dry in the winter, very humid in the summer, and so they have a mix of humidifiers and dehumidifiers to keep things within that range. They wanna make sure that parts that they're printing in January are gonna be the same as those made in July and vice versa. Number three is air diverters. So instead of the flat, grate style air vents, this room mostly has these perforated air diverters along the ceiling. That's so as air is coming into the room, as maybe they're adjusting the temperature up or down a little bit, it's going to be distributed gently and more evenly around the space. So they're not gonna create hot or cold spots and all of the printers are gonna be at the same conditions so they get consistent parts off of each machine. Number four is fume extraction. Now, this is more of a health and safety thing. You wanna make sure that operators are not breathing in anything that might be off gas from the process. But if you're putting all of this time and attention and effort into maintaining the temperature and the humidity of the air in the room, you don't wanna contaminate it with fumes from the process or air from the outside. So effective fume extraction is beneficial not just for the health and safety reasons, but also for maintaining the air quality in the production space. Finally, this printer room is a positive air pressure environment. That means that more clean air is being pumped into the space than it could pull in from other parts of the building. Again, this is all about preventing contamination. You don't want to bring in air that might be of a different temperature, of a different humidity. You want to maintain the air quality of the production space for the best quality and the best consistency across all of your parts, all of your printers. Of course, facility controls like this are only one part of the equation for consistent 3D printing at scale. Uptive Manufacturing has other processes and procedures in place, including regular calibration of its 3D printers, automation of certain process steps, and ongoing training for employees to make sure that they're producing consistent parts day in and day out, no matter the season. If you want to learn more about Uptive Manufacturing and how it thinks of 3D printing as an enterprise solution for its customers, both large and small, we have a full-length feature article on our website. So go to additivemanufacturing.media or find it in the links in the show notes. Thanks for watching.